expectations, the kind of number that we are seeing on CPI in the U.S., because the Fed is going to keep its watch on these inflation numbers, even as they climb down. Core inflation is something that uh, they consider very closely in determining their monetary policy, and that has climbed a bit month on month. Do you think this matches what the Fed is expecting, though it remains far away from their target of 2%? Hi, Vikram. I think markets are quite sure that uh, the level of inflation actually went down more than expected. We all expected that it's going to be in line with the expectations of 5.2%. But were it to drop to a significant amount in just one month by 5%, it means that the 0.25 basis point rate hike that the Fed did last time did actually work. So that it gives them more motivation or at least um, something like to work with that inflation is actually going down even even with the slower rate of policy hikes that they're making, giving room and space for U.S. indices and U.S. stock markets to uh, have a breather a little bit as um, like a BF, uh, interest rate hikes won't be as bad as um, or as aggressive as last year as uh, we witnessed uh, lows in the stock markets as last time. Yeah, so I think um, that the, the drop actually gave uh, markets a bit of a, a starting point to price and the next Fed move. So Nadia, looking at uh, these uh, moving pieces right now, for the Fed there are important uh, considerations. There is the banking crisis and for that reason we saw a bit of a hold back on interest rate hikes. On the other hand, you have rising crude oil prices. So what's going to determine the next course of action as far as the Fed's uh, monetary policy is concerned? There's definitely a lot happening in the market right now. We saw OPEC Plus um, voluntarily um, cut production um, to 1.6 barrels. Uh, this comes in after the 2 uh, million barrels that we, the production cut that we, they decided on on October. So oil prices are quite elevated, but there's also the things with the Chinese demand. Um, there's two uh, sides where Chinese demand is rising because of the travel and airfare tickets. And there's also uh, lower cases of demand uh, in some of uh, Chinese cities. So there's a little bit of this and that uh, for oil prices. But um, in terms of the inflation rates, uh, the Fed is uh, going according to target. Yes, it's now at 5%, the target 2%. So I think uh, presumptuously, if we do continue with this uh, interest rate uh, uh, like 25 basis points in the upcoming meeting and another 25, I think we're very soon to uh, watch the Fed actually move away into a pause, uh, to pause this aggressive monetary policy, which again is going to be good for the overall economy's health and we won't turn into a recession. Um, I think uh, markets are now facing fears of recession in case this monetary policy does continue, then it does have its negative side effects on the markets. So that's what we're waiting to see now. Is the Fed going to pause uh, interest rate in the next coming meeting in, in the month of May? Or are they actually going to increase 25 by 25 and then uh, pause it? So that's what we're pricing in right now. Talking about impact on uh, Wall Street, uh, how do you think the markets are going to move uh, today, especially the rate sensitives? We already saw the Dow uh, futures jump 215 points. We've seen a gold uh, sharply also uh, again to it, uh, 2027 and above in a sharp reaction after the CPI figures. I think uh, they're cooling off as we speak. Uh, this is definitely something that's good for the dollar and good for the uh, stock markets and not good for safe haven demand as now we anticipate into a less aggressive policy. So its overall effect would be good for uh, the stock market as it would be good for businesses to start lending and borrowing from banks as well. And in terms of the banking sector, uh, definitely this weighed on market sentiment. So I think now with cooling inflation, this is really good news for the market.